Decision time for Sarah Brown. Put her Olympic dreams on hold or continue to train while pregnant. And I remember when we went into the doctor's office that that first day and we kind of told him what my goals were and what I was planning. He was like, and we were like, so what do you think of that? And he's like, why wouldn't you? Like, why wouldn't you keep training? And that's what she did for the next nine months. Sarah tackled the unknown. So the goal throughout my pregnancy was just to come out on the other side and be able and, you know, strong enough to start training at the level that I did need to be training at. March 4th, a perfectly healthy like Abigail Brown arrived. The moment I saw her, like there was just like a different kind of love, a different kind of emotion. Now I ran track at Syracuse University, so I have a pretty good idea of what Sarah has to go through for her training on a daily regimen. During her pregnancy, she averaged 40 to 45 miles per week. That's amazing. Now, leading up to the Olympic trials in Eugene, she's averaging 60 to 65 miles per week. It's all part of that journey toward Rio. I've definitely already noticed since I've started like leaps and bounds of getting getting faster and getting better. The journey to the Olympics is never easy, Sarah. And is it going to be a little bit more sweeter and special knowing what you've gone through? I hope to be able to feel that moment and to be able to share it with, you know, like one more person. Pursuing a dream How you now as a happy family. Scott Abraham, ABC7 Sports.